So this thing right here is my little Makita battery tool that I can use to read data and basically reset the lockout bit on Makita batteries. It's fairly simple. It's a M5 stack DIN meter, which is pretty much wired up to A, the battery uh, with two data lines. So the white and the yellow. So the yellow going to the leftmost data line and the white going to the rightmost data line. And then there's the plus from the battery going to the input of the DIN meter and the minus of the battery that all connect to the, the minus of the DIN meter. Okay, so quickly, we need a power wire. So I've already soldered the plus on, but we're just gonna solder the minus on. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. So that's the minus connected. Now we're going to grab some tape. So these are 4K7 pull-up pull resistors. They go from each data line, so from the yellow and the white, to the plus, which is the 5 volt of the chip. So if we just separate this out a bit, you can sort of see how it works. So those are just 4K seven resistors. Um, I'll link the specification in the video description. But for now, I'm just going to make sure that like nothing can short out and stuff. That should about cover it. Okay, so now we have the meter with the battery connected. But what we're gonna do is stuff the meter through the hole that's dremeled in the case. It takes a bit of fiddling sometimes. Then we put the data line back. Power connector back. And you can, of course, like hot melt or glue this in place, just like the battery. So now I'm just going to demonstrate what it does. So you connect the Makita battery, and it clearly shows the model, the state, like if it's locked or unlocked. Then on the next screen, it tries to read the pack voltage. Here it fails, so we'll just reset the tool. It takes five seconds to turn it off. Remove the battery. Replace it. And now it shows the correct voltages. So you can see the individual cell voltages, the temperature of the pack and the temperature of the MOSFET. So we can turn on all the LEDs on the battery, 
turn them off and reset the lockout flag. So those are the options on this tool. You can sort of see how much the battery was used. You can see all the information about it. So this is sort of how you can reset the Makita battery that has the lockout flag set. Thanks for watching and you can find the code because this is sort of a standard M5 DIN meter, a few pictures and everything you basically need to assemble this in the video description.